When it comes to dining, gourmets in Singapore would hunt down the best place for a particular dish. Locals settle for nothing less than the live and fresh, especially with fish. At this restaurant, there is one fish, a seasonal delicacy that connoisseurs come for. At Ah Yat restaurant, diners show up for the authentic Hong Kong style cuisine, including seafood cooked in the popular Cantonese way. To keep customers coming back for more, Ayat gets its live, fresh supply from the seafood market next door. Most diners would still prefer familiar and safe catch. They would stay away from the lethal ones, like the stonefish, for good reasons. The stonefish is dangerous and has to be handled with great care. With about 15 poisonous spines on its body, Stonefish is one of the most venomous fish on the planet. The immobile and yet deadly stonefish can effectively blend into its surroundings, looking like coral or sand-covered rock. Camouflage is further enhanced with its ability to secrete a sticky fluid that holds mud and algae onto its body. Stonefish are not uh, naturally active fish, they won't swim around uh, very much. They, they, they will use camouflage. Uh, that's why when you see them, they're usually um, brownish in colour and they're covered in, in sediment. And they look very much like their environment, which is why people step on them by mistake. Jeffrey is a fish biologist, and he is currently researching the scorpionfish family, particularly stonefish. In terms of the venom, there are about between 12 to 15 spines uh, dorsally on the top. When somebody accidentally steps on one, is that the foot will step on the spine and this will compress down uh, on the sheath around the spine. And along the spine, there are two grooves on either side with two venom sacs, uh, which is why it's so potent. This will burst the venom sacs and inject the venom into the person's foot. A manager at the seafood market, Owen is very familiar with the poisonous stonefish. Originally from Hong Kong, he specializes in marine products. He has worked in the supply industry for nearly 16 years. He always makes sure the warning sign is displayed to prevent customers from touching the stonefish and getting stung. One sting from any of the stonefish's numerous spines would send you straight to hospital. The spines are sharp, like a dreaded hypodermic needle. Each spine contains 5 to 10 milligrams of venom, and this amount is said to be potent enough to kill 1,000 mice. Although the poisonous monster is immensely feared, some still seek the rare and irresistible delicacy with an exquisite taste. Okay, okay. we'll catch this one. It's big, right? Yeah. It's big. It, you know, you can see that fish is very poisonous. But I trust the chef. The chef told me that it's going to be very delicious. But there is a risk when preparing the highly poisonous stinger. 
To cook the stonefish, all the venomous spines have to be removed. It's not an easy feat. The hard and tough skin makes the job even trickier. For the last two years, Hung has been an assistant chef at Ayat restaurant. He is well trained to prepare the poisonous stonefish by more experienced co-workers. And he is familiar with the stinger's every deadly move. Handling the spiny killer fish is like a surgical procedure. Hung needs to be precise. With the poisonous spines out of the way, he is trained to take further steps to make sure the stonefish is absolutely poison-free and fit for the table. Hung knows that with one wrong move, it might mean a lethal outcome for a diner. Blood is then washed away before the stonefish is ready for the pot. At the restaurant, it's steamed Hong Kong style or deep fried. The dish favored by diners is the stonefish soup. But with that much venom in the stonefish, there may still be traces of poison left. Cooking the stonefish uh, with the increased temperature should denature the protein-based venom, which is found in the spines. Um, some chefs, I believe, also do take out the internal organs. Whether or not that would make a difference, I'm uncertain. Uh, but once you remove the skin, the spines, uh, and the internal organs, the fish, I hear, is a, a delicacy and it tastes very good. After making soup, you still can taste the fresh of the meat, very meaty, very fresh. It's not like a tough meat after making soup. So you buy one fish and you have two dishes, like a soup and a meat. With much hazard, the stinging stonefish is skillfully transformed into a harmless, scrumptious cuisine. But with its multiple defensive poisonous spines, it still remains the most venomous fish. But no amount of poison or even grotesque exterior will scare fish diehards into eating just canned sardines. So long as a fish swims, and even if it stings, gourmets will still devour it. Whether it's grotesque, seasonal, expensive, or even deadly, diners always after the bigger fish. No bones or even deadly poison can put off insatiable appetites. As a delicacy or necessary sustenance, man will continue to find all possible ingenious ways to make every poisonous part of a fish edible. And for the hungry and curious, they are willing to risk their lives just for that one bite.